Three days after the Catholic Diocese of Fort Worth officially closed the doors to Notre Dame Catholic schools in Wichita Falls, one woman is now fighting for answers. Yeah, Zach Verdia spoke with Brenna Pollard, and he joins us now with what's next. Zach. Well, guys, she's going to start the appeal process to the diocese on their dis decision to close both schools. And she admits this wasn't an easy decision for her to make, but she says the lack of clear answers from the whole situation and her love for the Notre Dame community is what's driving her. At this point, if we don't move forward, it just disappears and nothing happens. Brenna Polon is not only a Notre Dame parent. There's still a lot of unanswered questions for um, a lot of people in the public. She's also an alum. You know, you're talking 117 years worth of history. Um, you know, hundreds of families. There's kids and teachers and so many people involved um, that have invested not just money, but time and talent and their hearts into the school. But from the viewpoint of the Catholic Diocese of Fort Worth, they went through all the steps. Since 2018, church leaders say they tried searching for solutions to aging facilities, low enrollment, and growing financial burden. But after loans and continued struggles, the diocese felt like this was the right decision. And now this it's time to move to the next next step. And, and that's what the bishop has, has done. He's asked uh, the uh, superintendent to form a, a committee and begin a st strategic planning process where how do we continue Catholic education in the northwest deanery of which Wichita Falls for Polod, she feels the town halls and meetings were not widely publicized, even as an involved member of the parish. She knows as some families try to heal and move on, the appeal may hinder that. And for that, she apologizes. I've really had to do some praying and discernment to figure out if what I'm doing is going to be more detrimental or if in the long run it's going to help more. And I personally believe that it is still needed. She just hopes to find the facts so everyone has a clear image of how they got to where they are today. There's only one truth and finding out that and moving forward and even if the closing of the school was the only way to move forward, the way that things communicated and the situations that brought us here over the years worth of the school being there are issues that need to be addressed and be fixed as well. All this as the diocese will still look to provide some form of Catholic education at some point. We're looking for high Catholic education, what, what the future is, what's, what's the next next step here, and that, that'll, that'll, that's in progress already, and so down the road we'll have a, an answer to that. And moving forward for the fight to save Notre Dame, there's one thing that stands above all else. There are a lot of things on both sides of the appeal that contradict each other, and Finding out those truths is probably the most important part. We reached back out to the diocese today for an updated comment on that appeal, but did not hear back. And that meeting will take place next Monday, the 31st at 6 o'clock p.m. at Clink. Okay, Zach, thank you so much for that story, and I know you'll be following this. Now, Polon also has a Facebook page. It's called Always ND, Always True to follow along with the p appeal process. Now, those for or against are welcome, and you can find all those details, of course, inside the story on our website.